Hi guys, Ree here from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and another weekly vlog. You may or may not have noticed there's been a slight pause in my main channel while we were away in Disneyland Paris and all of my Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday slots were taken up by my Disney channel, but I'm back with main channel content for you. So I'm just gonna put you guys down here. We're gonna have a little chat. So it is our first day back to life, back to reality as they say. Let me know if you're not singing that in your head. Um, since the holidays. So I know everyone had half term and the Jubilee. Let me know in the comments if you did anything for the Jubilee. We totally missed the Jubilee because when I booked our Paris trip, I had COVID and I wasn't really thinking what was going on. I just saw the children had um, half term. The Jubilee wasn't in my calendar. So through my brain fog of feeling poorly, I just didn't realize that it was at the same time. And we missed out on all the celebrations, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but we had an amazing time, so it's all good. I don't like feel that the children have really missed out because they were doing all the Disney things. We had an amazing trip. If you're into Disney or into vlogs, make sure you are subscribed to my Mummy of Water's Disney channel because those new vlogs will be going live every Sunday. And, and it was just such a magical trip. I do also try and include lots of helpful information. So, you know, they're like magical, just fun vlogs to watch if you just wanna watch vlogs. But um, I try and include information like ride height requirements. Um, so for example, one of the roller coasters, Zara was literally within a millimeter. She was able to go on, but if she was a millimeter shorter, they wouldn't have let her on the ride. So those kind of things you need to know as a parent, don't you, before you go to theme parks and things. And if you've seen my vlogs when we've been to Legoland or Drayton Manor or places like that, then you'll know I just always try and include that stuff because that's what I want to know as a mum. I want to know, you know, how can we avoid the children being upset because they can't go on certain things by knowing things in advance. Um, and I try to include times and locations and just stuff I feel would be helpful to know before I go. Anyway, that's all over there. Um, so that's what I've got to do today, actually. So today is Wednesday. The first one is going up this Sunday. But by the time you see this, it'll already be up, if that makes sense. I hope. If I finished it, that is. Um, so my first job today is to edit those vlogs it's a travel day vlog travel day, it always astounds me actually let me know if like if this is what you prefer as well but travel day vlogs always seem to do better than the actual holiday people seem to be more interested this is just going from like number of views thing in the actual journey rather than the holiday would you say you watch more travel day vlogs than you do holiday vlogs the way around just just out of curiosity let me know so um you will have known if you've been around here for a bit um after the easter holidays i did a live talking about doing a life reset which is just feeling like you're out of routine you're sort of off balance everything's a bit ugh, and and you need to kind of get back on track and i very much feel like that again now we've only had a week and a bit off it's actually wednesday we've had this is why i'm really really confused i'm convinced it's monday but it's actually wednesday it was a week off but then the children had two inset days so their first day back to school is today um, so I shall be confused as to what day it is all week. But basically, we've walked loads, so I've been quite active, but I haven't done any stretching. I am stiff all over. So I did do my first getting back up before the children and doing 10 minutes of yoga this morning. I'm feeling just really sleepy and lethargic today, actually. While we were in Disney, obviously it was a lot of walking. I wasn't sleepy tired in Disney. I was just, my body hurts, kind of tired, just exhausted. But on the way home and since we got home, I have felt really sleepy. I think it's just caught up with me because I was getting up before everyone to kind of edit all the reels and things um, so they could go out because I had lots of people you know, asking how it was going and trying to put that stuff on Instagram. And then after we were getting back from the parks, my family were going to bed and I was tidying up, transferring all the footage of the vlogs and things, which I'm really glad I've done now. Now I've just got to do the work rather than transferring all the footage and stuff. I knew it was backed up. Apart from I did make a bit of a mess up. I tried to synchronize all the times of all the cameras because I was using four cameras plus the one on my phone. So technically five cameras. So I was using this one, the one that um, I'm filming on now, the big one for all the main talk to camera stuff I was doing. That's called a roll. So every time I was talking to the camera, I was pretty much using this one. And I was holding that on this fancy little tripod. So that's um, what that was on. And then, I was also using this little camera, which is amazing. I'll link this in the accompanying blog post just to show you. Um, there's no actual SIM card in it at the moment because I've taken them all out to um, edit. But basically, this is a gimbal camera. And when you film with it, even if you're running, it's almost like a drone is flying. It's so smooth. So I was using this for all the bits where we were like walking down Main Street trying to get like big panning shots, using it for bits of filming the parade and things. So 
my husband's like, well, you just use one camera. The problem is I'm trying to kind of up level my video production quality and not all the cameras do all the things. So the, the camera I'm talking to you on now is amazing. It does that beautiful blurry background, but the lens doesn't have image stabilization. So unless I set that camera up on a gimbal like this, which if I'm honest, I still really struggle to balance properly. It's a real nightmare to carry around and to set up and use then the footage isn't stable enough and it drives me mad having that like boing 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 as you're walking along. So it's fine for talking to camera stuff and just like short clips, but not like panning stuff. So I use this for the panning stuff, but it's not amazing for everything because it's not great in low light. So in the low light rides, I was using this, which is my original kind of, this is like a YouTuber vlogging camera if there ever was one. This is the G7X Mark three, was it the Mark II? Mark three, I had a Mark II originally and then this one came out with the mic input so you could up level the audio. But the problem with this is sometimes the focus isn't amazing and you'll see in some people's vlogs they'll probably complain about it. They, it's mostly very good, it's very good in low light, it's good for image stabilization, it's teeny compared to my massive camera I'm filming on now. But the focus isn't always amazing. So I was using this on the low light rides that I needed stabilization that I couldn't use this for. And then I also use my GoPro for like filming on rides, like roller coasters, fast rides, you've kind of got to strap things to you. You can put it on a chest strap or a wrist strap or whatever so it doesn't fling off and hit anyone or get lost. So those are the cameras plus the bits on my phone. And in a nutshell, I changed all the times on all the cameras so they were supposed to like line up. And this one, you can only change the time by syncing with your phone, didn't sync properly. So I dumped all the footage into the timeline thinking it should be like, you know, 12 o'clock, one minute past 12, two minutes past 12, all in order, ready for me to edit. And all the footage from this camera, which is quite a lot, was an hour behind. <laughs> so it's like someone's taken my footage and thrown it up in the air, like, and it's landed like a scattered jigsaw um, for me to sort out, which is a bit of a pain. So I've got to do that today um, and then edit the travel day vlog. So that is a behind the scenes look at what I'm doing today that nobody asked for. Um, well, actually, tell a lie, quite a few people have asked for it. Um, I've also had a few people asking um, about my like filming workflow and backing up things. That's probably quite a niche question, but let me know if that's of interest to like really show behind the scenes of how I put videos together. Um, the other one that might be more general that I've had a lot of requests for is asking for tips about filming and tips about photos. Now that obviously would be relevant if you are thinking about starting a channel, but more specifically, if you just take photos and videos of yourself, your friends, your family, those tips, there's some very basic things that you can do to really up level the photographs you just take in normal life. Um, and I've obviously been taking my photos of my children since they've been born, not just since I've been vlogging and things, but um, yeah, so let me know if you want me to do a video on like how to how to vlog or how to take better photos and videos for friends and family. Okay, I do actually have to do some work now or I'm never gonna get it all done, am I? One more thing before I get started. I'm back to drinking loads. While I'm at home, obviously I work from home, this is on my desk constantly and I sip from it, sip from it, sip from it. I put my first drink sachets in it, which I get from Exante. I worked with them before and I'm an affiliate, so it's just full disclosure. But I will link these down in the blog post to go with the video because I get asked about them all the time. They're just little sachets. They taste nice, they flavor up your water a bit. They're like five grams, I think, of, of powder you just put in. So they're multivitamin and energy sachets, which I really need at the moment. I'm really flagging. And you put them in with 500 ml of water, stir them, or mix them up, and it just, tastes nice so it makes me drink more water and it gives me a little bit of a boost to keep going through the day. Now one thing I did find and I always find this when we're away is I just don't drink enough fluids. So at home I'm really in the habit of doing it and I did feel kind of a bit more headachey when we were away but I think that's dehydration. I didn't have any alcohol at all and by the last day I did feel like I had a hangover. I think I just wasn't drinking enough. We had our bottles with us, we were filling them up like quite frequently but compared to the amount I would drink at home, especially since it was so hot, I mean, the others were probably drinking the same amount as they normally would, but I normally drink quite a lot more. So one of my reset things, one of the things, the habits, the healthy habits I'm getting back to is definitely drinking more fluids. I definitely just feel more energized, my skin feels nicer, and just less headachey when I make the effort to drink more. 
So we're about to go out shopping and it occurred to me that I haven't shown you guys these on this channel at least. Um, I've been using them for a while but I haven't talked about them. So these are air tags, these little discs in here. I have them on my keys, I've had them on my keys for a while and basically it's a little like device to track something so it's to track an object so basically if you lose your keys you can locate them and navigate to them to the point of it'll be right up to exactly where they are and give you directions to them so i when we went to florida i put these in air tags in the children's bags in case the children lost their bags or in case worst case scenario even though we keep a close eye on our children we're out in a public space we lost from the children so we've now got these little straps to attach them to the children's wrists and I really think they're quite good. Obviously these are not a replacement for keeping an eye on your children, but as like a fail safe backup, if you're going somewhere very busy, you're going somewhere very crowded, it's just a good backup to have. They work off the signal of other people's iPhones, but it is secure. So Apple explains it a lot better than I possibly could. Um, but basically it, other people's iPhones can't track your AirTag, only you can track your AirTag but it utilizes the iPhone network to securely track. So as long as this is near somebody's iPhone, you, I will be able to track this, but nobody else, even the people with those iPhones would be able to track it. If that makes any sense at all. So Willy Wems, there you go, you pop that on. Sars, you've got those on. And they're just, they're kind of cool, aren't they? They're like the magic bands really that we had in Florida. Um, and the children wore them all around Disneyland Paris. And you can set it up to set a notification if you leave something behind. So for my, if, if I was to leave the house and leave my keys behind, or leave a restaurant and leave my keys behind, it would say, you've left your keys behind. It would give me an opportunity to go and fetch them. So if I left, say, one of the girls with my husband took one of the others to the toilet, it would tell me I'd left them behind. And obviously I would notice if I'd left one of my children behind, but it's just a good backup to have. And I found that they worked really, really well. When I shared it on my Instagram stories, I had an overwhelming response of people saying, this is a game changer and this is exactly what I've been looking for. So I thought I'd share it here too. Right, should we go guys? Yeah! Let's get shoes on! The children wanted to come for a quick look in Primark. Yeah. Oh, this way! It is bonkers busy in here, um, so probably not the ideal time to come, but that's what we're here. Heading to the children's stuff, but the children have first spotted a whole load of Disney stuff. So we've got Minnie Mouse. No, that's Mickey actually. Oh, everything's swell with me, thank you. Ah, oh, I quite like Mickey and Minnie on this one. Not sure I could get away with a skirt that short, but it's really, really cute. Ah, oh, look, gee, that's the best dancing ever. Sweet little sundress. Ah, oh, who doesn't love a sweatshirt with all the gang? That's really cute. And short slick. Are these shorts with all the gang on them? No, I think they're shorts, look with all the gang. Ah, oh, Bella loves these. Look at those. Oh, Mickey. Mickey, and Mickey. Oh, and these shoes. Super cute. Oh, and they've got loads of Stitch and Angel stuff. I know loads of people, I, I personally, like, I'm not sure even sat all the way through Lilo and Stitch, I don't think I have. But I know a lot of people are really, really into it, especially children, really, really into Lilo and Stitch. I've actually gotten this far, I've actually gotten quite far into the Lilo and Stitch series. Oh, is it good? More than 30 episodes in. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, well, maybe uh, that's worth checking out then. Ah, he is cute though. I will come back to Primark and do a full come shop with me and look at all the new stuff. There's loads of stuff I've seen that I want to stop and have a look at, but children are, they just really want to have a look at a bit of children's stuff, which is fine, um, and then go. So mm -hmm. I will come back one day when they're in school to do a full come shop with me. Oh, look, loads and loads of stitch. Oh, cute. You need to look at the Mickey I will, Danny, I will look. Oh, look, a stitch planner. That's cool. Oh, that's quite sweet. I don't know, a stationery set, apparently. Mm, a stationery set of, like, pencils and things. That's cool. Where? Oh, is it cool? Is it a gel one? No, it's not a gel one. That does, that does look beautiful. Like, would you use that? Yeah, 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 I would use it so Would you? It's not a gel one though, I thought you preferred gel ones. What have you found, Bells? Oh my goodness. It is a bell from Beauty and the Beast. Funko Pop. 
she is so shiny. How much is she? She is £12. I actually took one of these um, in my bag for a rather niche purpose. I used it for memory cards and uh, batteries which is really handy because obviously when i'm vlogging all day i need lots of those kind of things but it's just a really pretty way to keep them all together but also you could use it for like makeup or pens or just any bits like snacks even um so pencil cases not just for pencils people i do like these pens as well guys please may i have a sleepy mask well you're one of your sleepy why, masks i've got a plan why don't we go like look for other sleepy masks oh no okay why don't we go look if there's other sleepy masks okay and then if there is um other sleepy masks which might well, have gelatin or something yeah why don't you pick them up and then we'll swap them for other ones okay. if we can't find yeah. them see these are only three pounds when i look for disney sleepy masks on amazon they only had disney masks that originally came from primark but being sold for about 12 pounds so three is probably a better so what have you seen well um, Harry Potter multicolored pen. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Well, if the girls are having sleepy masks, do you want that? Yes. Who doesn't love a clicky pen? So my lot are a bit old for these, but these are really cute. This like clock with the the numbers, like a puzzle. That's really really cute. A little baby xylophone and the Winnie the Pooh toy that Zara just spotted. These are really really cute. Would make nice gifts actually. Four. If you know someone's just had a baby. Oh, oh do you know what I'm gonna one, get? I'm gonna get another one of these because the this is brilliant and I've just like gone through mine. It's a to-do list. I can't see any others. Um, but basically it stands up. It did have a pen with it, as you can see in the pen holder, but it stands up on my desk so I can see right in front of my face Maybe what I need to do. I could do. I mean that's supposed to come with a pen. Yeah. But never mind, that is still you probably well worth then having. You put a hidden Mickey pen or something in Yeah. There. What is and we had one of these roll up um, pencil things before as well. We actually took one of these um, to Disneyland Paris and the children did some like colouring and stuff when we were back at the apartment. So, like a nice little sweet roll up thingy of pencils. Mini really like the Minnie Mouse stuff as well. Now, obviously, this isn't something that we need, um, being that I'm already married, but I've never seen a wedding planner in Primark before. So, um, if that is something you're on the lookout for, didn't know they did those. Ah, oh, super cute suitcase too. I mean, we don't need suitcases either, but there is a lonely only one left. Here, someone's after them. How much are these? I think we should get it. Well, we don't need one. I'm just thinking other people might. 35 pounds. Pretty cute though. Oh, look. The, this is a travel section and it's got the, William, well, you quite like Stitch. That. Would you like a Stitch really sleepy cool. mask? Is Would you like one? Yeah, alright then. <laughs> cool. Yes, please. They've got a luggage scales. I think my luggage scales have got a little pink one. I think I got mine from Primark about a billion years ago. But um, good thing to pick up and stick in your hand luggage to weigh all your cases before you get on a plane. Oh, Bella's just spotted this. Look at that, Mickey and Friends throw. Oh, mummy, Ten pounds. Oh. Pooh Bear, Mandalorian. Well, you're quite into that, aren't you? Mandalorian, what's that? Mandalorian. Um, that's You've also been watching. The, have you been watching the new Kenobi? Yeah. And it's, which is better, the Mandalorian or the Kenobi? Who's a Minnie Mouse Pooh Bear? Difficult, is that? Oh, have you spotted a Minnie Mouse one? Pooh Bear. I'm not sure you guys need new Pooh Bear covers, no, but, but it's really good. that is lovely. Nice. That one, oh, that one is nice. I think, is that's all the gang. Oh yeah, they do big covers. Aww. Yeah, they're, that's an all the gang that. one. Now I had some of these mini mice microfiber cloths, they're lovely. But look, Mommy. red ones, Mommy. they're really cute. Can we have a Mickey waffle? We could make Mickey waffles in the morning, couldn't we? Oh yeah, you yeah. always well, you tell you what we haven't made for ages is a cake, just baked a cake. Perhaps yeah. we should do that. A Mickey should. Mm, a Mickey a cake. Father's Day cake. Ah, uh, we could make a Father's yeah. Day cake, good idea. Good. Oh look, they've got this lovely Stacey Solomon stuff. Oh, it's really adorable. Oh, I love it all. Look at the lemons and oh, and do what makes you happy. That's really cute. The girls have spotted these. They're a bit like some silver ones they had before they went on the cruise. They kept falling off, but they've got these like strappy bits. So those make them sort of better party shoes for children because they're not going to walk out with them as easily. And these are oh, eight pounds. They are like party shoes. Do they fit? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, okay, it does so sort of fit. instead of a let it go, it's a mini. It is, yeah. And it's paper. Now, William needs a yellow t-shirt for sports day. And we have and a that, 11. 
10 to 11, is that the right size? Hold that up against you. And it's a Mandalorian. We were just saying how much you like the Mandalorian. And it's yellow. Well, I'm not sure that could be any more perfect if we tried. Ah, uh, girls, should you swap for that? Because that's a gel one compared to your other sleeping mask. You can choose. Do you prefer the pink one? Though they are the same price, you can choose the pink one or that gel one. Have a feel of it. That one's actually cheaper. I think the other ones are three. Yeah. Oh, I actually love the Daisy Duck headband. That's amazing. Yeah, this is like, yeah, that's just to keep your cheeks. Wait, is this a thing? It's that's to keep your hair out your face. For the bath. Yeah, I just prefer that for the plain thing. So, yeah. which one? That one's two pound fifty. Do you prefer the gel mask or the uh, the soft one? You can have different ones. You can have different ones each. You can choose one each. It's up to you. Oh, look at those cute bath bombs. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Disney bath bombs. So you got Cinderella. Yeah. You got Belle and Tiana. They've got so much Disney, like, stuff. All the goodies, look. We've got hand cream. That's really nice. Shower caps. I used to use those when I was little when I was in the bath. The girls don't really use them much. I just tie the hair up. Those are exfoliating gloves, darling. I don't think you need exfoliating gloves. These are hair clips, I guess, for clipping your hair out of the way for doing your makeup. Disney hand cream with the letter of your name on. Where's the shower cap? These are shower caps. Look at this brush. That is a very cute brush. Oh, these are the wet hair turbans. Which, which actually, the last ones I bought were flat. They weren't under turban shape. They're the things. They're like a hair towel to put your hair. Do you mean the things that you? Yeah, but they weren't. Yeah, but they weren't shaped like the other ones. They were just a flat towel. Ah, they've also got all this Bambi. Look, they've got Bambi sleeping masks. Bambi hair towels and a thumper one, although that doesn't have a card on it. Oh look, and on the other side they've got all this stitch beauty stuff as well. They've got stitch lights to go next to a mirror, stitch clip, eyelash curlers. It's quite like a pineapple pink and pretty range. Guys, I think we need to pay and get out of here because mummy's arm is now hurting from carrying all this stuff. So we're home from Primark. Shall we show everyone what we bought? Yeah. 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 So I think the things you guys are most excited for are the sleepy masks. So the girls ended up going for the mini mouse ones that weren't with the gel. These are just soft because the gel one had like a, a silky feel of material, but the material didn't actually feel as nice. So I actually think those will feel nicer on your eyes. Mummy will have to cut that off. Um, but you do love a sleepy mask, don't you? And it does help them sleep, not just traveling, but like in the summer evenings where it's not quite dark enough. So there you go, girls, you can hold those. Each Thank of those you. were three pounds each. William went for a stitch one. So he's actually upstairs doing his own thing. William also had this pen for two pounds, a clicky pen, uh, just like the ones I used to have when I was little. Um, so that's Hogwarts on it, there we go, two pounds. Oh, the shoes, the shoes, the shoes, the shoes. That's one of the other things. These are one of the other things. So Zara's got a size nine, little teeny mini nine, and Bella's got a size um, two of these shoes. They're just like, the silver ones that the girls had for the cruise, um, but the added elastic is gonna help keep them on their feet. They're very pretty, aren't they? They're probably yeah. more like play shoes, dressing up shoes, not be able to walk very far in them, but they are rather lovely, and those shoes were, oh, they've got mini mouse on them as well, though, on there. Those mm. shoes were eight pounds each pair. And then for sports day, we ended up getting the 11 to 12 t-shirt for William. He needed a yellow t-shirt for sports day. And this was just four pounds and it's Mandalorian, so he'll wear that anyway, because he loves the Mandalorian, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, I did get this replacement notebook. I probably should have said at the till, hey, the pen's missing, because I know it comes with a pen, because my other one came with pens. Um, and perhaps they would have knocked something off. It was three pounds, but I just love this notebook. It just sits on my desk like that. So I do my to-do list each morning, and then I can see exactly what needs to be done each day. And it's kind of there in my face, which is kind of cool. I did actually buy these Minnie Mouse pens, which are a very similar pen to the one that was missing from this. Uh, these were £2.50. Bath bombs! Girlies, girlies, girlies. All the bath bombs. These were one fifty each. And these are princess bath bombs. So we've got Belle, we've got Cinderella and Tiana. The girls love nothing more than a bath bomb. Even if it does leave my bath all covered in glitter and I've got to clean it. Now these are, we've got a Minnie Mouse and a Daisy. Bath fizzer. Now, what's the difference between a bath fizzer and a bath bomb? Should we open it up and find out? Yeah. I need my slicer thing to open it, don't I? Just hold still one second. 
I have found my slice tool. This is my slice tool, which is just a great way to get into things like this without resorting to using knives and such. Okay, so. I see like a picture. Ah, oh, oh right, it's just one bath bomb. <laughs> So it's a bath bomb in nice packaging. It's a bath bomb of Minnie's face. Yeah, because there's one of Okay, Daisy. so these are, yeah. So how much are these? Daisy's green. Oh, so these are three pounds. So these are three pounds for one bath bomb and just come with a lot of packaging. So actually I'm not convinced. This has like Minnie's face on. It has got Minnie's face, but to be honest, I thought these would be like the gritty stuff. Because yeah, really, I you don't need a whole one of them. I thought there would be half. mini mouse bubbles and stuff I know, like yeah. So the daisy one, we will open it up to show you. Um, I'd probably say that the pound bath bombs, um, mm. I know we have bought the princess ones in the cardboard today, but at least the princess ones. Where are the princess ones? Um, oh there. So at least the princess ones are just, these are just in cardboard. So they make a nice little gift. They're only 150, but that's one bath. This is the daisy one, which has come in this, this very nice, Daisy packaging, which is cardboard. It has got a bit of plastic in it, which we don't really need. Um, but that's three pounds for one bath. So Primark do actually do one pound bath bombs, which are probably the best value ones. So that's probably nice if you're giving it as a gift. Unless you actually keep the tub. Like, would you want to keep the tub, girls, to put okay, stuff in? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you do like I chat want like daisy. that, don't you? You want daisy? I have mini. There we go. Okay, so we'll, there we go. So maybe it's not so bad now. We, we've Yay. got the, the tubs to keep things in. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. Make sure you're subscribed with bell notifications on for upcoming vlogs and all the other things we do here on the channel. See you guys soon. Bye! Bye.